Thank you for all your positive comments. Thank you for supporting ka. Thank you for supporting me and the locals of Maragundon because you're helping us change their lives. You're helping us making their lives better. So thank you. Okay. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Basically, two and a half months ago, I fractured my clavicle, separated my shoulder, got pretty mangled, left Davo Oriental, and went back to Kagindo for my recovery. And Thereen came. Oh, oh did I say, Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and during that time, you got to see a lot of us. Uh, usually, I don't like to put too much of us onto YouTube because uh, my whole life is very, 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 very public all the time and I'm sharing a lot of, you know, personal emotional stuff all the time so I like to, you know, keep our relationship at least a little bit uh, private. Why are we looking down? Why is this sad? Why do we look down? Uh, yeah, so we're here in Manila. I'm going to fly out in a few hours, but I think I the euro. And Thereen, what are you doing? I'm going back to Cavite to see my family and manage my small social enterprise named the Kang Maragundo. Cut to the infomercial. Hey guys, if you didn't know, my girlfriend has a small social enterprise called Lick Kang Maragundo. Go to her Facebook page now. Shop, buy, spend. And the more you do, the more locals in your community benefit. If you spend even more now, you'll get even more things. <laughs> Anyways, I was doing infomercials the whole time. Ah uh, yeah, so Threen's leaving and I'll be heading back to Kegi and Dioro. Um, I have plans, things I gotta do. Threen has a business and people she's gotta support as well, so we're splitting up today. Uh, I think I think what we'll do is uh yeah. Let Thereen say anything she wants to you guys because she'll be leaving the YouTube universe now for a while. Um you'll yeah. Go. <laughs> Thank you for all the support. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah, you remember yeah, being... I don't know what to say. Yeah, I think it's so interesting. <laughs> so every every time something like this happens, for example, when uh, I split up from Brett. Kyle! Like, uh, You're so confused. Please be, please be respectful, Brett. You look like me. <laughs> You actually look like me, man! This is terrifying! Oh my gosh, he even looks like your camera! <laughs> That's terrifying, man! Or then we stood up from Kataeo. You know, a lot of people always have a lot of questions or ask, or what's happening with this person, what's going on. Uh, Thereen's just going to be living her life in Marigondon, doing her business. We'll be in contact all the time. Um, relationships all good, all strong. Um, but yeah, we'll be like that probably for a few months. We have plans on hopefully coming back together in May. Yeah. Um, basically, Baraka is amazing. It is super amazing. Super amazing. Actually, I would highly suggest right now, if you're somebody who can work uh, away from the office, uh, go to Baraka and work out of Baraka, <laughs> because yeah, you can you can stay there now for like one month, and you just have to pay twenty five thousand or thirty thousand. You get free coffee, yeah. you get free Wi Fi, and a beautiful beach, the like... million dollar view of Baraka. Yeah, so. and uh, actually, uh, we bumped into a lot of people there, and I'd be like, oh. Ilang Arodito, how many days are you here? Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, for a month, I'm working. Like, oh, but we, we work in Manila, but we just moved here to work now for a month. Yeah. And like, even if if I have online work, I'll just go to Boracay and just work there because it's amazing. Totally. Uh, 
And through that, you can also support the local tourism industry because the hotels there, the resorts have been through a lot, so it's one way of helping them recover. Pop quiz, random mystery questions. What was the most difficult thing about having me around all the time for two and a half months? Go! It's difficult? Yeah, is it my crazy dancer? No. Uh, Kylie's a little stubborn. I don't know if I can put that on YouTube. Stubborn and indecisive. I'm very indecisive, that's true. But I'm not indecisive when it comes to like passion or purpose or doing something. I'm just indecisive, indecisive when it comes to like, what are we going to go for dinner? Or making decisions for other people. Or where to travel. Where Hold to up. Making decisions for other people though. It's not for me. Like for example, if I'm like, I'm going to go on a scooter mission, I just go. Because it's a solo decision. But when it's a decision that has another person involved, I get really nervous of disappointing them. So that's why. That makes sense? Yeah, like for example, like when we went for dinner last night, we just aimlessly roamed around and you tried to ask me to pick, but I didn't want to pick something that would disappoint you. So that, do you get it? What? Is it, it's true! I'm gonna miss the delivery! Oh my gosh! <laughs> All the food delivery! She lives in a small town, so Cavite is a big province and there's obviously yeah. well-known places and cities. But I'm from a third-class municipality, so we don't have street bar, we don't have food band, <laughs> we don't have all this. We don't even have like fast food chains like Jollibee or McDonald's. We only have yeah. one back, which is the rural back of Maracondo. We love it. But the thing is, I like it the way it is because it still gives you the warmth of the province feels, mm. which you need when most of the time you're like here in the city, the hustle and bustle of the city. Sometimes when you just want to relax, you want to go to a place where it's still very raw. So that's what I can do. It's home. Oh, um, I've been there home many times. I was, I've been there many, many times. I'm gonna miss the coffee and two nights. Spicy, original. Or is that garlic? I think it's garlic. Oh, and there's the pie. Go for it. Tuna na tuna. I got tattoos. Thereen, what do you think of my tattoos? It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, they're still healing. It's gonna be a few weeks before they peel off and then reveal the the beauty and the color within them. But I'm very very excited. Uh, about these tattoos because every time I look down at my feet I uh, get really really inspired so I'm stoked on them uh, if you're gonna get a tattoo I don't know it's up to you it's not my business to tell you what to do so <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> here comes these one second Ugh. Ugh. Anybody else get that though? Like if you go into an aircon, an on aircon, aircon, an aircon environment, it's like. Oh, it's still on the It's so weird when you get this, the hot chicks. You know what you. I'm trying not to sneeze! Oh, one second. Talk to the camera while I'm gone. I don't know what to say, love. Say anything. Whoa. I'm gonna miss all of you. Good. Especially. So funny. So funny. Get the sneezes. Oh my gosh. The air con. The con air. Con air. Con air. Ah. I feel so 100% great, but literally you just going outside earlier to coming into the air con. What have I done? Okay, so we spent two and a half months together. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the airport now, and I'm gonna head back to Kagiang. Three days to go to Cavite, and we shall power on with our life journeys. I'm assuming there'll be a lot of comments and things usually, uh, but again, I think that relationships are between two people, and uh, the best comments people can make are just positive, cool, yeah. feel about good vibes comments because. I think sometimes, again in the past, one of the reasons why I never put like personal relationship often on YouTube was because I think it's, uh, people forget sometimes that when you make very intense comments about things, you know, people read them and they're humans and, you know, 
can just be a bit like, you know, diba? <laughs> you know. A, a lot of people would, you know, comment uh, funny things like, dump her, she's not beautiful, dump her because uh, she's boring, dump her because she's gaining so much weight, blah, blah, but, you know, we're well, just... Then there's, there's the opposite too, who are like, marry her now, you yeah. must marry her. No, we're like, just, wait. I go back to Cavite, that's the time. <laughs> I really work hard now. I have seven to eight kilos to lose yeah, for it. May. So that's my promise um, to get back in shape because now I gotta focus on Alicamar uh, and losing on myself. Losing on the week I gave. It's the happy week, guys. So there. I remember when the last time I was in Boracay in 2010, that was my sixth time in Oh. Napala? 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 Oh, Telaga? Oh, Telaga! In 2010, I remember I was in Boracay. I was so thin. I was so thin. But at the same time. You were not happy. I was. Oh! I was so miserable. Like, I can post in several photos and say, oh, I look hot in this photo. But deep inside, I wasn't happy. So I'm happy now. The time, the next time I went back to Barak, I was totally the opposite. I don't have any baggages. I'm happy and content. So, diba? So people, please be happy when people are happy. I and mean, wish you will be happy too. Totally. You are happy. The I love our people. online community. I think this yeah. online community is amazing and you guys have inspired so much in the real world through connecting online. So thank you so much for being a part of that. Uh, yeah, so, so, so that's it. I think that... Skylock and getting emo. Okay, yeah, well, we'll leave before we get emo. We'll head to the airport and just know, just like before when my parents left or when me and Brett split up or when I left Kat to Eel or Commander left or, you know, all these things. Lives are still going on, all is good, but you probably won't be seeing three in the vlog for quite a while, so... Last chance to say anything! I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for all your positive comments. Thank you for supporting Ka. Thank you for supporting me and the locals of Maragundon because you're helping us change their lives. You're helping us making their lives better. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's weird, it's weird looking it's, at a camera so in your email. Hard, <laughs> it's so hard to be in the LDR because you have to say goodbye over and over and over. But at the same time, you also get to be excited totally, because you're yeah. going to see someone you love again. There's something to look forward to. But it's funny because every time me and Kyle would see each other and then I would bring him to the airport and I would always say, Don't leave me! <laughs> Don't leave me! And I always cry all the time. Ah, it's all good. Our relationship is strong. Everything's cool. Uh, we understand yeah. each other. So I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't want to get emo here on camera. Again, too much personal stuff on the internet. Sometimes it's like, Bye! See you this, there! This, this, this is also the longest time that <laughs> oh, uh, we spent time together. Well, like, every single day for yeah, two and a half months yeah. is really... Uh, for four years, I think this is the longest time that we stayed together. Um, I know he was... He got into an accident, but, you know, maybe sometimes the universe makes things happen for a certain reason. There's a good side, there's a bad side. So in this case, maybe it was also a blessing because we got a chance totally. to... to to know each other more, to spend more time with and each other. And I just saw announcements like two days ago that travel restrictions are getting a bit easier domestically in the Philippines, so I'm sure we'll see each other soon. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. And I'm so, also... Uh, so are you promising that you're going to fly in Cavite? Huh? You can't fly to Cavite to Manila. Manila and then Cavite. Manila, Manila, I love you, Manila, you're only a plane away. <laughs> That's not the song, is it? Are we going to Balabak this evening? Three wants to go to Balabak. We might go. I don't know. We're out of here. Yeah, because I love the Balabak lighthouse. We gotta, we gotta go pack still. We don't have much time. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't want to get too emo on YouTube. Love you guys. He's trying not to show that he is going to cry. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Really appreciate all your love and support. We love you. I'll see you soon.
She'll see you in the near future. So when you get back to Peggy and Dior, you gotta sit down here and I think we're gonna go through like some sort of interviews or something, but I got my travel pass, so it was good. Just gonna go home. But oh here we go. Welcome to the Virginia Airport. We are here from the Department of Health. We are here to provide you before you leave the facilities. Before we provide you, please prepare your boarding passes, your one body ID, and your birth certificate for children. After we provide you, you can leave your baggage and then go to your designated vehicles. Those who are traveling for Lano del Sur, please visit those two to go back on the other side. What? If you were like it is a two, blah blah. I learned, I learned a long time ago uh, that it sounds really weird, but I believe that the best advice is not actually giving advice. It's just um, interacting with people and allowing them to build up thoughts and feelings uh, to allow them to give themselves advice. I'd rather than be like, hey, you should do this, you should do this, I think you should do this. What I think is really good is when you just allow people to build up those decisions themselves, but you just, you know, help them think about things in a positive way and then shape their own decision making. So, I don't know. Don't know why I'm saying that now. Oh my gosh, I'm also going to miss the beautiful, picturesque views of northern Mindanao. Yes. We were able to explore like the beautiful waterfalls. Totally, oh my gosh. I almost want to cut yeah. now to some Northern Mindanao adventure clips. <laughs> <laughs>